Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48's World and as you know I am Deb Chanel. Okay we just gonna get right on into it because I just thought I would bring it out to you all. You already know Portia Williams and Dennis McKinley. Yes the blogs have got something on them. And honey, and it's just driving, I'm pretty sure, Miss Diane crazy. Because Candy tried to tell Portia about Dennis and his philandering ways. The social media platforms tried to tell Portia about uh, Dennis' philandering ways. Now, if you want to be like Tammy and Waka Flocka and his cheating habits, because Dennis is still out there. He out there at 4 a.m. in the morning time on Saturday. Guess he coming from a club. And he has with him four women. Now we can look at it as such. Uh, maybe he was comforting someone. <laughs> you think hell no? I think so too. I'm just giving him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe somebody died. And he was comforting the whole group of women. Or maybe he was selling or trying to market his hair products. Because you know he sell weaves and wigs and all that kind of stuff. Maybe he was interviewing those four women for a position. He didn't keep uh, regular normal hours like 9 to 5. You know like I said maybe he think he going to have somewhat similar to is my way of the highway type of relationship with Portia. Because Waka Flocka always be out with other women and doing whatever he wants to. And Tammy stay with him. Now, of course, you remember that was sincerely war. He was uh, accused of having uh, an affair with her while dating Portia. And Portia being pregnant with his child. Now, of course, that's kind of a blurry pitch. I thought it was going to work out. Um... Even though I had selected it. But bear with us. Okay. But Dennis is out there. Somebody recorded him. Okay. Now some people say. Uh, it's just somebody just record. Or maybe he had the person record him. Just make up some stories or whatnot. But we over here with the family. So fam. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. Before I go into the article. That Radar Online had put out on this joker. And Porsche just looking like a serious thirst trap up there. Like she can't get another man. Like, she just can't do without Dennis. I'm like, gun it, girl. First, you were with Cordell Stewart. And we know he was controlling. But do you really want to be like Rashida? With the older man, like Curtis? and Not Curtis, but Kirk. And he still ended up cheating on Rashida every time he got a chance. So, I mean, what are the body languages that you're experiencing, Portia? Are you feeling like you can't get somebody else? Or maybe you kind of boss Dennis around a little bit. He let you boss him around because you know if you got with another man, such as your previous husband, Cordell Stewart, you know you won't be able to say nothing. He'll try to outwit you when it comes to playing the smarts. Who's smarter than whomever or whatever. But yeah, honey, he was out there in a restaurant. Like a little Waffle House thing with four women. And, you know, Portia's sister just forgave you for messing up on her sister. Because she didn't really want you back with her sister, Dennis. So, I don't know. Because it was a story uh, or some hints or rumors that you and Porsche got married in Mexico. Hell, I did a story on you all. And I was just going to let it be like it was. Even though y'all know what I feel about the whole situation. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Okay? Unless that cheater wants to change. And they have to make a conservative effort. You know what I'm saying? Let it, rena, re, call it resonate in your spirit, Porsche. What I'm trying to say. Get some familiarity with this young man up here. I mean... <sighs> Just to say you had a baby by him, you think you got to make him your um, all be all or you got to save it for your family. No, honey, if the mama and the dad ain't happy, how can you make a family even though you have children? No, it's called co-parenting. It's called having your space. Because if this man is out at four in the morning and ain't nobody died or a, a friend or a family member or those four people, somebody didn't die. And he's not confronting them. What the hell are you doing out there? Another cheating scandal. That's what we got. That's where we going with it. Because like I said, I don't understand. Four in the morning on a Saturday. In the wee hours of the morning. That's club after club activity. Now you know when you go on and get into that eating after the club scene. Guess what? How big is that? We got to take it to the room and do what we came to do. Right, boo? Yes. Okay. I'm like, busted again. Allegedly, of course. 
But a picture is worth a thousand words, Portia. That's all I got to say. A picture is worth a thousand words, baby. But we over here at the family affair. Y'all pretty much know how I feel about it. It ain't never negativity in my mind. And I'm like, girl, you ain't said I do. Because it looks in, it's looking like a I don't. I won't. And if your own mama won't tell you, girl, get a clue. Okay? Because evidently, Diane must have been through a few relationships on her own. And it don't seem like she's with either uh neither one of y'all fathers you lauren or your brother uh dad i don't know if she got three separate men for all three of y'all or y'all two got the same daddy or maybe one of you got the same dad i don't know what diane was out there she was just uh what taking it low and spreading it wide i guess having herself a good old time but you see she's still not with a man that she feels not gonna be hers that's miss sincerely ward of course, she told Candy at the OLG restaurant, they taped it, of course, uh, for viewing purposes, that she ain't slept with Dennis. She don't really know of Dennis. I mean, she know of him, but she don't know Dennis like that. I mean, are you going to be like Cardi B? I've said over there going around just, you know, sticking it in, picking it in, filling it in. Be like Rashida, Kurt out there sticking it in, filling it in, putting it in, you know, everybody. Or you can be like Tiny and T.I. Who knows, okay? But Ken already said she pretty much can have an open relationship. She just got to know about the things. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think she would like it after a period of time. Okay? Because she already talking about she don't like Todd at the strip club. So what that tell you? But I don't know. Let's get on into this video. I just gave y'all things to ponder about. Uh, to see where y'all can put y'all mind to since we like I said it's a family over here we talk about issues like this because I, I just don't have the energy to pretty much give her any advice anymore because I only did several videos on Portia and I'm like the proof is in the pudding why do you need to keep having the same people the bloggers content creators on YouTube or on other social media platforms Probably your good, good girlfriends in my uh, Lonnie B voice. And um, just good family members telling you about this person. I mean, you in the forest and you can't even see the trees. Okay, that's why I'm looking at you, Portia. You're in the forest, but yet you cannot see the trees. All right. Because you're so hung up on this fella being your um, caregiver, provider, I don't know what it is because I'm like, you make your own money. You got your own house. You got your own materialistic things. You got your own jobs going on. Why do you want to be with somebody who evidently wants you but a few more too? And if he want a few more too, he want an entourage girl. He want a harem. He think he in his own country. He has enough. He's a king. He can afford all of y'all. No. Is that what you're signing up for, Portia? Just let me know. I, 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 you know, I don't really care. You're good content for me to talk about. I'm just trying to understand it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know how they say you bump your head one time, you bump your head twice, you bump your head three times. You just need to be put out your misery in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Because you just keep bumping your head and you ain't trying to find out no rationalization of why you keep bumping your head. You could care less. You just like bumping your head. But then, well, let's get on into what Radar Online had broke out for us. Gave us a little article on Porsche. And they didn't give me nobody. Who wrote it so we're just gonna say a journalist or a correspondent over there for radar online wrote this salacious story the title of the story or the article was real housewives of atlanta star portia williams says nothing will stop my happy amid fiance's flirty diner outing with four women not one woman i mean one woman four women okay i'm like okay is one of his cousins his niece his uh good good girlfriend what is it? What would have you out there at 4 in the morning on Saturday in the wee hours of the morning at the club scene? Four women, you ain't driving. You get in the Escalade car driven by some chauffeur or some driving man or whatnot, man driver, to get you to your destinations. But you freely, your hands free, you're in a dark uh tinted escalade where nobody can really see you unless they saw you get out of the vehicle and get in the vehicle what you gonna do with your hands honey with four women that look really nice from what i could see they're not ugly or not uh unattractive i should say and they seem like they got nice bodies 
I mean, man, couldn't be me, the mother of Portia Williams, okay? Because I was saying my feeling. I would just leave that situation all alone and just like, you ain't welcome, honey. You ain't welcome in the house no more because you couldn't explain that away. You mean men could try to explain everything every day under the sun and it still don't make a hell of a beans worth of sense but we as women have to sit there and say am i gonna take this situation or i'm gonna let it go okay you have to make your own choice women you have to make your own choice be happy okay because if you ain't happy ain't nobody around you gonna be happy you can trust and believe that one but anyway we go on to the article it says um Says something about see her savage, a savage response to admitted cheater Dennis McKinley's bad behavior. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams is staying positive amid the chaos. Hours after RadarOnline.com reported her fiance Dennis McKinley was spotted out with four beautiful women. Williams 38 reacted with an inspiring yet cryptic note. Nothing will stop my happy 2020 self-care hashtag she wrote on Instagram alongside a photo of her sitting on a swinging beach chair in a sultry white purple and yellow swimsuit. Okay, this was probably when she was in Jamaica or Mexico when her and Dennis was together lounging around or whatnot. Okay, the photo they're giving us, she's swinging in a beach chair with a white and gray, I think. Uh, in yellow um, printed leopard kind of like um, bathing suit. All right, the reali- reality star did not address uh, Radar's report, but readers knows women. But readers know fans are in shock after learning McKinley was caught having dinner with a group of women at an Atlanta diner at 4 a.m. Let me say that again: 4 a.m. at a local. Uh, Atlanta Diner on Saturday, January 4th. Okay, now we're not talking about 4 p.m. in the afternoon, okay? And then I'd be side eyeing him too. So, with those your publishing people, whether your correspondent, whether P- your PR, whether you're working out some things with the hot dog uh, organization or business you have or wh- your, your um, network of hair. Uh, prospects or something what were you doing honey what was you doing i'm quite you know i'm trying to help you out but i still come up zero all right but anyway that happened on january 4th it was a saturday and it was in the wee hours of of the morning 4 a.m okay he came in with four beautiful women and i witnessed told radar portia was not with him okay now he shouldn't have been there he should have been in the bed with her asleep rubbing her back getting him some in or tending to the baby girl okay but he was out with four beautiful women at a local diner here in atlanta at 4 a.m saturday in the wee hours of the morning that's what they reported i'm not a paparazzi i'm just going by what they're giving me and i'm just having dialogue with my family and that's you all on my channel okay about this situation not in the article that's my pun intended okay but they said um he comes in with four beautiful women and eyewitness told radar portia was not with him dennis was the only man in the group and all of the women were flirting with him i'm like what what Portia should be the only one flirting with you, son. And see, what I don't really understand about the whole scenario, Portia and him are just boyfriend and girlfriend. Yes, he put that same tight-ass ring uh, that he asked for it back when he thought they were breaking up for good. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, same ring. Or it looked like the same one anyway. And then, he the one still out here going around having question marks on his forehead because he's doing all of this in public knowing portia is a very public figure she's on a well-known platform we're in atlanta where everybody is out with their cameras and their phones on their cell phones and they're recognizable and they know who you're supposed to be with and who you're not because y'all don't show us pretty much your family on television so we can kind of pinpoint who's who you know what i'm saying even though we in the streets but anyway that's my pun intended going back to the article it said um The women were flirting with him for them at one time, and he was the only man. All right. 
Uh, it says, then news came after Williams and McKinley rekindled their romance following the star's rocky pregnancy and her baby daddy's nasty cheating scandal. Fans know whether it wasn't no cheating scandal. It, he was cheating. He even confessed. So it ain't a scandal. It was just a true story that he didn't want it leaked out. But when it did leak out and he had no time or sense that he could recover, recover from it. He went on and said, okay, you got me. I'm sorry. But yet, you're still going doing things that are not kosher. That's making you still look like a cheater. A serial cheater at that. But anyway, that's my pun intended. We're going to go back to the article. It said, um, fans know McKinley admitted to cheating on Williams while she was pregnant with their daughter, Pilla Johanna. Now 10 months, okay? We have had a rough pregnancy all the way from start to finish. Dennis, I'm like... It ain't no we. It's the mother, the Lord, and the child developing in the mother's womb. Okay? It is not any we. All right? And women can lie if they're holding the pregnancy. It's not just a we thing. Uh Uh-uh. It's you, the Lord, and that baby uh, growing inside you. Okay? Isn't that, it's some serious stuff when you're trying to have a baby. That's like life and death, especially when you're giving birth. All right. So, no, the best thing he could have done was been at your beck and call, not cheated, waiting to the whole pregnancy or waiting to a certain point unless you was a high risk type candidate uh, for pregnancy. You couldn't do anything in your first and second trimester, such as myself. I was a high risk pregnancy with my daughter. So, no, the loving stopped. Okay. The loving stopped when I uh, found out I was pregnant because. I was sick as a dog up to really my eighth month. But anyway, um, that's not the story I'm, I'm talking about. It's not about me. It's about Portia and Dennis. Okay? And how much Portia will put up with before she pulls the plug. And she not again. She not even married, y'all. He cheated before. He cheated while she was having their baby growing in her stomach. Okay? And she was still putting it down for him. Still having sex with the brother. Up into delivery. Okay? This is what she said. So she was doing her do thing. But yeah, he still found time to cheat. Okay, I'm trying to figure out when he had time. When he went to the store to get her something uh, refreshing to taste or, or drink or eat or whatnot. I, I understand. Because it seemed like he should have been with her besides going to work. But I guess he would probably get it in where he could fit it in, okay? I don't know. I don't know. But going back to the article, it said... Um, we had a rough pregnancy all the way from start to finish, McKinley said, during a therapy session that aired on the Real Housewives of Atlanta sex during pregnancy. It's nothing what a man wants to do. And after PJ got here, postpartum was very real. We cried together like every night. That's not a good enough why that's not a good enough reason why, but that's the reason I'm claiming. Okay. Uh, after reuniting, McKinley proposed to Williams once more. Sources said the pair was planning a summer 2020 wedding, but it's clear or is it is unclear that will happen after McKinley's bizarre group dinner date. Okay, and I uh, put selective pictures up there for you all to see um, the actual footage of where they got um Dennis was cheating or he was pretty much having a late dinner night with four women and one of those women were not Portia Williams his fiance but again people can spin the story however they want to but the fact does remain and that's the picture that Radar Online captured from someone that sent it to them yeah you can't really see when one of the women but we do know it was four women somebody said they were beautiful women and four in the morning i'm like is it was it his cousins was it, i mean who were the women you know what i'm saying that's the first thing i want to know and then i want to know why you were with them and then i want to know uh where we go from here because i'm going to tell you where i'm going from here i'm gonna get my uh, i'm gonna kick you out the house once again take your key we're gonna go on straight to you figure out what you're gonna pay for the baby because i'm moving on okay ain't that much counseling in that world in the world and forgiveness is for myself so i'm gonna forgive you but i got to let you go <laughs> you abandoned me love don't live here anymore that's what i would have told uh dennis i would have told him there's no vacancy love don't live here anymore no 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 doom 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 yeah 
doom, 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 doom. Yeah, and I would twerk my way on up out of there. But anyway, I let y'all know how I feel. I read you the article, let you get their opinion of what they expressed in their article, how they felt. Now it's time for you to tell me what you feel about this situation. I mean, ain't no sister getting upset about it. Just a year what it is, because nine times out of ten, she forgave him the first time. She's going to forgive him the second time. And we're just going to continue to do stories on her. And as we develop them, you're going to still see how Portia is developing into this person where her mom probably don't even recognize anymore, okay? Because her self-respect, her self-esteem must be entirely low, which I don't understand because she's a beautiful woman. She's on several different platforms to be able to express herself. It seems like she was growing up in a way where she was making sense. Um, but like I said, when it comes to men, people make stupid decisions all day, every day. They they put it on the sex. They put it on the money. They put it on the security that they just don't want to leave when they know they should leave. But that's just not an option for them at this time. So I'm not going to condemn her no more. And I'm not going to uplift her no more. I'm not going to stay up, mate. Okay? Because I'm like, why should I give more energy trying to convince Portia uh, to do the right thing when obviously she is just hitting her head upside the wall because she don't feel like she needs to be failing in her marriage she might feel her mama failed gave up what not her sister was in a marriage gave up moved on with her life she's trying to live her better life just her and her daughter and she's co-parenting with her ex-husband but Portia feels like she got the fight this battle she got to win this race on this situation where i'm gonna stay married to this man or whether i'm happy or not i'm doing it for my family and i'm like that's got a twist it you in there for the long haul you really want to be a one woman dating one woman man woman well yeah hell y'all know what i'm talking about but dennis is not capable from what i'm understanding and what i'm seeing he's not capable of loving just you he wants you and the whole other block over there too okay he just like that he thirsty he gotta have many many quenches some like kirk frost he gotta have many many tastes he gotta have many many women to satisfy his appetite but he wants Rashida to carry his babies, okay? Just like he wants you to carry his babies. How many of them you want to carry for him? But he just can't be faithful. And I think that's something he need to get into counseling about if, in fact, that is true. But then again, if he likes what he's doing, then, you know, it's cool if he don't plan on making a, a family with somebody. If he tells the woman up front or the man he may be dealing with or the animal he may be dealing with, allegedly, I don't know. Just like he letting all parties know this is just how i am this is how i'm floating right now i'm feeling myself feeling myself like beyonce feeling myself feeling myself and i just can't be settled down you know i like you i want to be with you you can definitely have my babies or whatnot but i i, I just got to be with many many different people now if you don't tell portia that and she still wants to progress with you then that's her fault we should not see any tears. We not should not feel any anger eluding, exuding from her. We should not, okay? Because it's what the man told you. So you should be just as chill as he is chill, okay? But that's all I have for this video, y'all. Like it, thumbs it up, share, and let's roll on to the next video, okay? And as always, please like, share, comment in the comment section. And, um subscribe to my channel okay and i have not forgotten about um i forgot her name let me see if i can find it real quick because she basically wanted to see elijah and i'm trying to think if i can get this picture to roll on can you see this picture come on lala 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 that's my lala on a good day when well, he's a good boy. Uh, Lala! Lala! Come on, Lala! Come on, Tete! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! TV. They want to see you. Yes, they do. This is Elijah. This is the one 
Who be you see got a little shirt on too? Oh, this is the one that be tripping all the time. Be hollering all the time. You wanna see the camera? You wanna see the camera? You wanna see the camera? Yes, thank you. This is Elijah, everyone. I've had him since 2006. His date of birth is January, not January, not long, June 30th. So 2006. So he's basically almost 90 something years old because, like they say, uh, it's seven years for one year of a dog's life. So he's an old soul. He's an old baby. And he's been, I don't know, he's been quiet today for some reason. He ain't meet up there barking or whatnot. So, yeah, that's this is Elijah, y'all. And I forgot the subscriber who wanted me to show him. I think it's Lola. So, Lola, this is Elijah. You see, he's just acting up, see. He wants to bark every chance he gets. When he's uh when I'm really doing some on the tube, but this is the dog y'all that be sitting out barking and carrying on and carrying on. Stop that. Uh, Lola June. This is Elijah. He's the barking one. Um, Jaden is my daughter's dog. He this is he's a Pomeranian. What was it? They say he was a Pomeranian mix, but he had no hair. But as you can see, he has full hair. So, I don't know what they had got. Because I adopted him. And he really was my uncle's dog until he passed. And he just took up with me. So, you, as you can see, he's just all over me. And he's just like a baby, I tell you. Because I, I had to take him to the doctor. And he be getting medication, like pain medication that we take. You know, uh, he has trazodone for anxiety. All that medication we take as human beings. And he got allergies. They got allergy medicine for him. But I can't claim him on my income tax. I'm like, I fight with my accountant every year. And, um, yeah. But this is Elijah. So, that's all I had, guys. Alright, you can get down. Lola June wanted to see you. Yes, go play. So that is Elijah, you all. That's the dog that be barking all the time. He is very well content tonight for some reason. He really hadn't barked or did nothing. So that's unusual for him because he's barking at cars around, coming around the subdivision. They're getting too close to the house. He barking. He barking. If we got company over. He don't probably seen them. I don't know how many times he barking. Woo, child, he barking because I'm spending too much time on YouTube and I need to be playing with him. But when I play with him and I hold him like a little baby, he get tired. He start growling like I'm tired of you being holding me now. Uh, you doing too much. Let me go. I just want to lay on your feet or by you. But you ain't got to hold me. I mean, what? These dogs have a personality of their own. But that's all I got, y'all, for this video. And if Jaden ever wakes up, he's somewhere laying around the house. Probably in here with me. I just, yep, he's under me on the other side. So, if he um, calls himself want to get up, I'll let him make his debut entrance on the tube as well. But he don't really bark that much until Elijah gets him barking or he wants to jump on Elijah for some reason. Because I don't forgot when my daughter got him, but he's a younger dog. I don't know how old he is. He might be 12 years old or something like that. Whatever. But anyway, that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this man. The body language he gives off. To me, Dennis just looked like a little freak. He just want to have his life. He want his cake. He want all of his meals. And then he wants some, uh, they call it some cupcakes later on. You know what I'm saying? He just can't stick to the cake. He got probably a three-layer cake. And it's probably a bid where he got maybe 20 slices he can take out of it. But he want them 20 slices and he want his cupcakes as well. So, I don't know. I can't blame him because only a woman knows how much she going to take from a man for landering ways or cheating ways before enough is enough. If enough women start telling these men if they cheating on them or disrespecting them, if they start not taking it, men will straighten up. And, of course, it goes reverse when you got women out there thinking they can just cheat on good men or just men period and just have you know a plethora of them and uh just rolling around or whatnot 
and at their beck and call if men start saying no i'm tired of you treating me this way i'm tired of you dogging me out i'm tired of you cheating on me i would not accept this from you and walk away the life life would be so much better and it wouldn't be a whole lot of cheating out there but the staples of these type of men um what's the name i'm gonna call him Wycliffe, walker flocker uh what's his name kurt frost um who else ti offset and it's just probably a host of many many more that i can't think of at this time while i'm taping this video when you have women that support their activities of cheating and i'm like that hell no i i, I don't have time Okay, I can get it on my own. You know what I'm saying? I can just be celibate the rest of my life or I can get me a deal though. Okay, I choose to be celibate. And, and that's just pretty much it because I, I had a hard life with my ex-husband. And I, I love my freedom and I love, you know, loving on me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I definitely have some things I have to work on. But at this point, I don't, I don't want to uh, settle. I want somebody to love me and it just be totally about me. And I feel the same way about them. I'm giving all the energy and the, the positive energy and the love towards them, which they deserve. You know what I'm saying? It's reciprocated both ways. But when you have people out here that want to dip and dab and, and, and don't even care that anybody care that they see you, that they go back and tell, and you're going to either dismiss it or you're going to feel like, well, you knew what you married you knew i'm all yours but i gotta go i gotta go like uh we said i gotta get them streets what tupac used to say tupac and um i didn't say run them see lord dmx and tupac they whole, had their whole attitude just, just let me run the street i'll be back i know where home at, but i got to run them streets i can't be tied down like this you know what i'm saying but it's just weird how men think they can cheat all day long but then when a woman start cheating on them they can't handle it or vice versa you know what i'm saying but that's all i got for this video y'all like share and comment and i will see you next video good night